I will use the darker color at the bottom. You always want to start with the end that has the knot. So just place your other two colors to the side. And there's no measuring involved. You are just going to take that and pull. And that is how we will get started. I like to start with a handful, so about this much is good. And of course I will be using 3 8 inch filler cord. And there's actually a link to purchase this right in this YouTube video. So cut this at an angle. You will place one end through your darning needle. Always go like this to make sure that there are no knots. And then because this is going to be an oval, we will wrap this longer than what I would typically do for a round basket. So I will hold the filler cord in my left hand and I will begin to wrap with my right hand. So you do want to leave some of this open. So once you start to wrap to the left, you should have about this much open. Okay, so I have 10 inches wrapped, and so what I'm going to do is fold this in half right here, and you wanna make sure that these are lined up, and then if you have a clip handy, just hold them together. And then at this point here, we're going to do like half of a figure eight stitch. So take this, so the cord should be in the back. Take it and put it over that and then start wrapping again. You're going to be wrapping towards you now. Just make sure that you keep everything nice and tight close to each other. You want to keep doing that until all of this is nice and secure. I don't normally twist it like this, but because I am wrapping towards me and this is so long, it doesn't feel as natural to me. It's not as easy, so it's much easier to actually just twist it like this. You will know if you went far enough, if this part here, once you bend it over, it matches up with this spot right here. So don't worry too much about this showing. It always happens around that first curve. So for just this part, I am actually going to place this right behind. I'm gonna get the needle, go through that center. And then I'm going to wrap it back around this side. This is a figure eight stitch. And then pull it nice and tight. And now that spot right there is secured. You can just go directly over all of them like this, but I wanna actually create a design in the base of this basket. So I am actually going to place it at an angle this way. And then I'm going to bring it back around to the front, push it over to try to fill in that space because we don't want any gaps and then go ahead and continue to wrap just like this. Let's do three of them. Actually, let's do four. Okay, and then you're going to wrap it at an angle again and bring that back around nice and tight. Pull it in, wrap four times. Wrap it at an angle. Wrap it four times.
wrap it at an angle. Last angle for this section right here. Okay, and then when we wrap it four times, right here, we're going to go through the center like this. Go through the center like this from the bottom. Pull it up, make it nice and tight. Do a double wrap like this. Go ahead and wrap it four more times. Go through that center again, right here. Wrap it four more times. And this will make the corner nice and even looking. Then I have one more. And now I need to add in a new piece of cord real quick. To add in this new piece of cord, we will get the tail, wrap it one more time, bring it towards the front, place the new tail on the other side, pinch all three with my left hand, and then start wrapping again with my right. And then that holds them down in place. I'm going to keep wrapping just a little bit here. So once I have it on the other side of this wrap here, I am going to take my needle and place it here, pull it through, and then now when I wrap it over, I'm going to cross it over. We are making a crisscross design. So we're going to do that for this entire base. So now go ahead and continue wrapping nice and tight. Now I will place it on this side right here, pull it through, and then go ahead and angle that. I think I can actually bring this here and maybe I can fit one more in for when I get to the other round. This way the corners look pretty equal. Okay, once I have my four, I'm going to go through here. Bring it over right here and then I'll wrap it four times. Bring it through there again. And 
then I can show you a trick to cover that if that happens. I'm actually going to put this here. I'm going to try to close this gap a bit, so then I'm going to place it back through the top. bring it around that's the figure eight stitch and that is just so I can pull it in and it closes that so that it's not as open and actually I can do that one more time before I do my last crisscross so again place it through here back through the center going down Pull nice and tight, and that's closing that gap. Bring it back around. Now after this figure eight stitch, now I wanna bring it back over, back around. So now it's in the back. Now I'm going to go through this spot again, right here. Bring it over. Now it's creating that X. Place the needle back in. There, now that's there. Now I could go ahead and bring it back here. And this part is a bit confusing, but it's just for that one spot. You don't have to include that at all. I just did it because I wanted to make this spot look a little bit more like the rest of it. But you don't have to do that part. Now bring this back around to the front. This is going to be our last figure eight stitch. Make it nice and tight, pull it down, and then continue to wrap. And it's going to be towards you because it's a figure eight. And we're only doing it just until we get into the spot where we're going to begin our regular wraps which will be right in between these two here. Okay, so once I'm here, I'm going to bring my needle through this spot here, pull. And now I can go ahead and do regular wraps like this. So no more crisscross and no more figure eights, just wrap. And then just keep wrapping until you get into the spot right in between these two. Okay, I will show you one more time and then I'm going to just make a few more rounds like this. So these are double wrapped because it goes over two pieces of filler cord. And these ones, the ones on just this, those are single wraps. So now I'm going to do, it's about four single wraps, but you don't really have to count because you really just want it to be so that it's even. So four brings me about right evenly in between. Actually, I could probably do three. So I'm looking at this spot and this spot, and I wanna be in between them. So if I do three, once I bring it around, it's in the perfect spot, right there, right in between. So now I'm going to continue wrapping for a few more rounds and then I will show you how we start the sides. 
Okay, before I go any further, I actually wanted to show you a trick to covering spots. So if you have a little tiny bit of filler that you just cannot get wrapped, place just a scrap piece on your darning needle and then pull it through. Take the needle out, take the other end, and now I'm going to just place it through the center here, pull through. Careful that you don't pull the whole thing out. But now these two pieces are in the back and then that is covered and you can go ahead and just tie a little knot here or weave these in and that is how you fix the gap. When you get to the corners you will notice that the curve is going to get wider so the space in between your two double wraps will be larger so go ahead and place two or however many it takes so for this one I did two but for this one there's so much space that I'm going to actually add three okay so this will be my first one because that looks pretty good nice and even and then I will go ahead and wrap a few more times I will do three because it lines up to the center here can do three more so just keep in mind when you are on these curves to just add a few more double wraps so that your basket is nice and secure And then for this space here, I will add two. And then you will notice that when I go around again, this space is now small, so I will not need to add as many. I will just be placing one. So just do it so that it's visually even and that your gaps are not too large. And then I will make a few more rounds and start the sides. Okay, and I am complete with my base. So if you go to the center here, you can count your rows. So I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then also there's five. And six starts here. So for my sixth round, I'm going to go ahead and start my sides. So to do that, just continue coiling like you've been. And then once you insert your needle for your double wrap, you're going to start pulling that filler cord up. So now I'm going to just simply bring it forward. And if you go directly over it, your basket will go straight up. But you can just do it out at a slight angle if you want to kind of go out to the side. So it's your choice. But whichever one you choose, just make sure that you do it nice and tight because that is what is going to make your basket secure. So I think for my first round, I'm going to go just at a slight angle. It helps it transition just a bit better. And I'm going to do only one more round of this color. So my very first round for my sides will be this color and then I'm going to switch colors. So again, just continue wrapping just like you've been. And just bring that filler cord up just a bit if you only want to go out at an angle or all the way over this round if you want to go straight up so as you can see here it's already starting to go up so I will do this full round and then I will switch my color and show you how to change colors so to add a new color it's the same way that you add new cord you just pull this tail end towards you and I always have it wrapped at least once take the new tail and place it on the back grab them all and then just very tightly continue to wrap. And that is it. Now for this round, I am going to go directly over my previous round like this to start the sides to go straight up. So I will do that for a few rounds and then I will be back to show you how to do more. So I ended up adding one more color, so I will end up with four colors. So for the top of my basket, I have a design planned. 
So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a single wrap that is actually much wider than I normally would because my goal is to go in between every second. So I'm not gonna place my double wrap here, I'm going to place it here. Okay, so I'm going to place it in this spot right here. And I will do this for the entire round. And then the next round will actually be the final round. And again, it's going to have a design all the way around it. And that is why we are leaving this large space in between. So if you don't wanna do the design that I am doing for my final round, I have plenty of other videos that you can check out and end it in a different way. So I will do this all the way around and then show you what to do for the final round. Okay, so for the last round, what you need to do is get your filler cord and kind of just do one full round to see about how much you need left. So if it was going to end here, then I'm going to actually just leave a little bit of extra because it's better to have too much than too little. So go ahead and cut. And then you are going to want to tape the end. It doesn't matter what kind of tape you use. It's just so that you can make this pretty flat and smooth because we need to weave this entire piece in. So now what we will do is we will continue to do a single wrap. So what we're going to be doing is weaving it all around, like looping it. So I could tell I need a couple more right here in this spot. Okay, so now what I will do, I'm going to clip this right here just to keep that cord in place. Turning my basket around, taking that tail end, we left these large spaces because we are going to put the filler cord through that and putting the tape makes it a lot easier and cleaner. So once you do that, now pull. Carefully take the clip off, but continue to hold it. And then pull that in so that it goes underneath like that. Now I need to bring my cord. Okay, so now at this point, I will continue to wrap. So on camera, it's gonna be just a bit awkward to show you everything, but continue wrapping. Okay, once you have a whole bunch more wrapped, you are going to skip the next space and then go into this one. So it's going to be every other wrap we will go ahead and place that filler cord again, going from the inside wrapped around to the outside. So now I would be in this spot right here. So again, skip this one and go into this spot here. And you wanna make sure that you're wrapping nice and tight so there's no white spacing showing. And then bring the cord back in and repeat the process all the way around the entire basket. So now I will just continue to wrap again. I will skip this spot and then I will go from the inside wrapped around to the outside here and just keep doing it all the way around. Figured I would show you one more time. So again, this is nice and long here so that I can go ahead and wrap it around going through here with my filler cord. So again, I will place this one here, pull through, and then just repeat the process, okay? Okay, and I am finished with all of them. So the very last one, I actually got really lucky because I had just enough filler cord and plenty of regular wrapping cord. So this was my last one that I went through and I am wrapping it to go right here. Okay, so now with the filler cord, 
So I'm going to just double wrap this in right here to secure it and then it'll be finished. So I will cut this at an angle. Take off the clip and I'm actually going to secure it around this piece here. So bring my needle in. And now I have to carefully bring it up here because I'm trying to make it go just around this one here. Okay, and now I will bring it here. Just let these little pieces come off, it's, it's fine. And then again, go under here. Make sure that you keep it nice and tight against each other so no white is showing. Turn it around, bring it back up. And then I'm just gonna keep doing this until it's completely covered. And you can thin this out more if you want to. Makes it a bit easier when it's thinner. Okay, I actually brought it back over what I just wrapped. I just went back to the other side of it just to kind of cover any little tiny spots that were showing. So I went all the way down and then I went back up and now everything is nice and secure. Might just do one more just to be extra secure. So now once it's here, I'm going to go back here. Okay, it's nice and tight. It's nice and flat and smooth. Looks really good. And then now at this point, I am actually going to off camera place my needle underneath this double wrap right here, this yellow one. Can't really see it, but this one right here, I'm going to place my needle through it and put a little knot. Okay. Let me do it a second time, because I am able to actually just place this in again. Once you have that loop, then just go through it again, pull, creates a double knot, pull it nice and tight. And the good thing is it's hiding right underneath that design so you don't even see it. And take your scissors and just cut it. And that is it. This is a nice, fun, little oval basket. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.